welcome back to Neon Fasty. Now I know it's been a while. I had to take a couple of weeks off because I've been cleaning and fitting out my comic book shop ready for reopening. So that kind of took priority. But on this week's episode, I'd like to share something with you that I have been hunting for for over 39 years. And that is an original light cycle by Tommy Toys from the movie Tron. Now on my fifth birthday my parents took me to see Tron at my local cinema and I've been a fan ever since and I've always wanted an original light cycle. So on this week's episode we're going to take a closer look at the original light cycle from Tommy Toys and as luck will have it I have a few light cycles from the sequel movie Tron Legacy so I think we can do a bit of a comparison there. So let's get this unboxed and take a closer look at it. And here it is out of the box. Now, as you can see, this vehicle shows little to nowhere whatsoever, which is a good indication that it spent most of its life in its actual box, which is fantastic. Now, when you find these on the secondary market, there's two things you need to look out for. One is obviously the canopy glass is either cracked or broken. But more importantly, take a closer look at the reverse wheel because that is where most of your damage will occur because it's like a thick rubber now this vehicle comes complete with its own rip cord for obvious reasons so you, when you pull that rip cord out the vehicle itself screams across the floor which is great mimics the light cycles from the film perfectly now the light cycle itself was based on a Sid Mead illustration and due to limitations with technology etc it wasn't until the sequel Tron Legacy did we actually see Sid Mead's original design brought to fruition but as you can see this vehicle itself is in relatively perfect condition now it doesn't come complete with an action figure they are sold or were sold separately but Tommy Toys released four action figures and two light cycles the other being the color orange but it wasn't until the 20th anniversary when NECA re-released the original lineup of action figures and added an additional light cycle being the colour blue and I think if memory serves me there was two additional figures which were kind of exclusives but as you can see this thing is absolutely perfect or nearly perfect so on one side we have 1981 Walt Disney Productions and on this side we have Tommy Toys Japan but uh, yeah I'm really chuffed with this so let's take a look at the action figure that goes inside now this vehicle only holds one action figure so to put the action figure inside you simply clip up the canopy and as you can see very little detail if any inside okay so we'll get our Tron action figure so this is actually Flynn there you go it's a pretty cool action figure and we just slot him the best we can although it is a tight fit I must admit there we go so he's in obviously he's not sat in the position that the uh, set on the bikes in the movie but anyway clip it over and you're ready so basically insert your rip card just there and you're sorted away you go but uh, there you go so this is the original Tron light cycle from Tommy Toys but let's see in comparison to the light cycles from the sequel movie Tron Legacy. So here we have a small selection of light cycles that were released with the sequel movie Tron Legacy. Now they did release light cycles in various scales but for the purpose of this episode we're just going to concentrate on the scale applicable to the three and three quarter action figure. So from right to left we have Clues Deluxe light cycle and on the left we have Kevin Flynn's light cycle. Now they both come complete with sound activation and lights and additional light cycles you can actually use your action figures with and the deluxe ones come complete with rider. Now the light cycles in the foreground so we have a loose unboxed deluxe light cycle against obviously our vintage light cycle and I think now that you can appreciate the evolution of the design of the light cycle and what perhaps was originally intended by Sid Mead when they were first making Tron. But I think you'll agree 
even though these are decades apart, each light cycle complements the other. And what a fantastic pair they make. Anyway, so there you go. That was my vintage light cycle. I just wanted to share something with you. It's just another, another grail that I've spent my life looking for and finally acquired one. But if you have a piece in your collection, comment below. Let me know. I love hearing about other people's action figure collections. It's amazing. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for your time for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Woo. Woo. <laughs> oh, I got a live one here. <laughs>